my name is Annie Battle Reeves. And I took two LCs last semester for fall 2023. I took the course with Mark Clinton and Varao Vara Gutierrez, um, the intro to Latinx studies in the history of social justice um, courses. And I also took the one with Melissa Wise, the intro to sociology, and Lisa. Oh, I always forget Lisa's last name. Uh, yes, um, for the Handmaid's Tale um, LC. And one thing that I took that was such a positive aspect from both of those LCs was the collaboration between not only the students, but also within like the community and like other colleges. The LC that me and Nick both took, we got to collaborate with one with Theory Hearst, the museum in Holyoke, but then also with Amherst College in Amherst. And like for the Handmaid's Tale um, LC that I took, I was able to collaborate with the nonprofit I am um, that's located in Ham in Springfield, Mass. But it's a um, what is it? It's a workshop building um, nonprofit that's called Voices Within Inside um, that works works with Hamden County and Hampshire County jails uh, for women. Um, but yeah, the collaboration between just that and the students, it was great. And how was it different from, uh, did you feel like it was really different from a standalone in any special way? Yes, definitely. I, my first full year before I took the LCs, uh, before that was I did a bunch of standalone classes, a lot of online classes, a lot of asynchronous and everything. And I, my first year I was in a debate afterwards of if I wanted to continue on attending school. And, but it was because I was like, I felt like I was struggling in a way that I couldn't see myself succeed in a really good class. And then I finally took classes that I was like, oh my God, I can succeed in many different ways where I like, I finally saw all A's on my transcript again. And I was like, oh my God, that I can do that. So yeah. The one learning community that I took was the Intro to Latinx Studies in Politics. And basically it was just like a fusion of like the history of Latinx studies like culture um injustices basically relearning my whole um history basically for besides beers class but i loved it it was with mark and raul we um were fortunate enough to like collaborate with other schools other um places in the community and i love them because it enhances the learning of the student by allowing them to like hear the perspectives of two different teachers at once it, although it can be like a lot of like back and forth like what's going on you, every day you leave learning something new you like feel better like because you actually like are participating in class they're collaborating with you they the learning communities they match the energy of the students that's why I say it differs from a regular class because with a regular class a standalone you really don't know the teaching style the teacher, I'm taking one right now, and it's, um, it makes me miss my LC a lot because the teacher, the teacher, like, doesn't, at, like, try to learn our names, doesn't, like, ask us questions, and it's, like, maybe, like, 10 more kids than the LC, but it's crazy, and, like, um, the LC is, like, I would say you're, it's, like, 100% chance that you're gonna feel comfortable like raise your hand and stuff like that which um um and it's like creates an environment where students of like whatever background they can relate to the class and they can like um speak speak up and I think in my opinion they're worth it because of the obvious reasons like it's six credits and there's a 15 minute break in between but <laughs> But more of the, um, I'm like, like it more for like the class collaboration and like inclusion, basically. And I recommend it to everybody. My name is Alexandra Santiago. Um, when I was a student here at HCC, I graduated in May or June of 2021. Um, when I was a student here, I took two LCs as well. Um, one was Intro to Latinx Studies with um, Intro to Theater, actually. And uh, the other one, which I took before the one I just talked about, um, was Psychology with uh, Public Speaking. The thing I remember the most and I took with me 
was definitely the collaboration um, aspect of the LCs. Um, for example, um, for I remember for the psychology and public speaking one, we would put both uh, courses in practice, um, doing like you know presentations in front of the class about like a topic in psychology, for example, and that's like you're reviewing kind of like both courses at once. Um, it, it builds confidence in students um, because you have two professors in the classroom. Um, so sometimes we might not feel comfortable asking questions to a specific person, but the other professor feels a little bit more approachable and um, that, that is helpful. Um, and for the LC with uh, Latinx studies and theater, um, I remember it. I remember it really well because they actually took us um, on a trip. Like we we went out of campus and um, got involved in sort of got involved in the community. Um, we went to see um, Don Quixote in Connecticut, um, which perfect. Like Latinx studies with theater. It was it was very memorable. Um, and like experiences that stuck with me um, from my time here at HCC. Um, another thing I would say that um, was my experience with LCs was the lifelong connections that I've that I made through um, my intro to Latinx studies and theater class. I I made plenty of friends, and I still keep in contact with Raúl Gutiérrez and and um, Pat. So. It's a great opportunity for students to grow as um, students, but also as individuals, um, gain more confidence, like I said, and just create create excellent connections. Um, I think learning communities, particularly here at HC, have been life changing. And I think like so many students say, um, once you took one, you wished you had taken all of your classes as LCs. I think that is a consistent <laughs> thing that I've seen. Um, both as a student at HCC way back when. So I graduated in 2013 um, as an adult student. Um, and I, I am so incredibly grateful for the professors who taught those courses um, and for the people who took them and were brave enough to invest in those courses um, in the way that I learned to invest. So I, I think learning, you talked about lifelong connections. And I think for me, that's one of the one of the most beautiful parts of LCs is that I, I developed a lifelong learning uh, love of learning, right? Because I came into the space and realized that there was so much I didn't know and that I was so capable of digging deeper and thinking critically and learning about things that, again, I was an adult student. I, I, I didn't even realize what I didn't know and then realized that I could have an opinion about it and that I could learn more about it and it was the first time I had ever felt smart as a student. Um, and that has stayed with me. To, I, I feel what it felt like to be sitting in that class and being so nervous and being like, I don't know that I belong here. And sitting here now, these many years later, advising students consistently, like you should absolutely take a learning community because I promise it will change your life. And sitting with the people that I met in that community who are my best friends, who have become my family, quite literally my family. Um, and I met them my first semester in a learning community at HCC. Um, and in particular, I have uh, two friends that I met and we have walked the entire way through our, through our journey, through HCC and graduation, through many other learning communities. Um, the, the last one I took was called The Power of Nightmares. And um, I remember like, the professor's really asking us to dig deep about what was something that mattered to the world and to make that connection to what mattered to me, right? And it makes you feel like, what are, what are the ways that I can influence my learning? What are the ways that, that these theories and these, and these situations are impacting my life? And um, I wrote a paper about my son and it was called Raising a Latino Son in a Culture of Fear. And I think it was like a 30 page paper, um, which was, I'm still so incredibly proud of the work that I put in that that my instructors brought me to that space, like pulled out intellect and pulled out capacity and pulled out writing skills and all these things that had grown from the first learning community to now. 
um, and 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 then the people who supported me while I did it, right? So I, those people got me through HCC, and we applied to the next programs, and we we've made it all the way to our master's degree together. The same group that I met at these learning communities. That's that's crazy. We were all adult students who had never been to college before, and now two of the three of us work at HCC as directors. One of us is in Ireland running a whole other program. Like that's the work that learning communities do. They inspire you to imagine imagine things that you can be beyond beyond the moment, right? Beyond you as a as just a community college student who's just trying to get through. <laughs> like it, it's about like you taught us the freedom dream in these learning communities and that's real. That's real. <laughs>